What's up? My name is Daniel Lloyd, the Nollywood actor. That is your boy. And right now, you're on factory78.com. Keep it locked down. It's where the party's at. Plow. <laughs> I am joined with one of Nollywood's brightest and hottest stars. Yes, ladies, I am joined with the one and only Mr. Daniel Lloyd. How you Yo, doing? Yeah, I'm great. I'm doing great, honey. <laughs> What's up with you? I'm really good. I'm really, really good. I'm excited to see you here in the flesh in the factory. Yes, yeah, so welcome to the factory. How's your experience in the UK been so far? It's been amazing. It's, uh, the love has been amazing here in the UK. I didn't think they know me so well in this town, but hey, I'm loving every moment of it. Fantastic. Now, of course, speaking of fans knowing you, they would have known you from, well, since 2006 with your first movie. <laughs> you know, wow. take it take it down memory lane. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're tempted to touch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, very, very, first mm -hmm. very first movie. It was an experience. <laughs> um, I was lucky enough to be with the best hands, um, Ramsey Noir. Uh, sorry, um, Desmond Elliott mm -hmm. and then uh, Mona Lisa Chinda. My very first um, people I've worked with in my life. And uh, looking back, memory lane has been what the journey. <laughs> what the journey, actually. Exactly, definitely. Yeah. Now, I know that um, Nollywood has dramatically changed. It's yeah. changed so, so, so much. Because before, when I was younger, I used to watch Nollywood and I used to be like, ah, what is this? Like, <laughs> what, what is this? You I mean, because you would see one hand coming from the ceiling. And, but now it's like, it's, it's, up there, it's ranked number. Th I think it's uh, uh, exactly one well, top three in the world: yeah. Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood. Oh, yeah, fantastic. How does it feel to be a member of this elite club? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged actually, um, and I'm, I'm opportunity to be one of the, you know, new faces of Nollywood. Um, it's been an experience, and like I said, it's been worth the while. Um, I'm, uh, I'm amazed at what we've achieved in a very short time, and despite the old, um, you know economy the not too much flow in cash in the, in, the, in the environment and stuff but we put up good stuff mm -hmm. you know and yeah here we are today that's fantastic now i know that there are a lot of challenges that are still to be overcome but there are also a number of challenges that have been overcome i know that there's a a, a union Yep. You know that protects the actors' actors' yeah. rights exactly, and um and and it it also ensures that actors are well taken care of and yep. things like that. And we previously didn't have that. You know, mm -hmm. um, tell us some of the challenges that you've experienced as an actor because I know it's not just fine face that you are doing <laughs> that has you know gotten you to this point. Of course, you have hard work. You know, yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. much hard work, and um, there's no undermining the grace of God. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to go all, you know, religious in you guys, but it has to be the grace of God, mm -hmm. you know, because this is like my third year, fourth year in the industry. And um, and um, I'm privileged to be here today. Yes, yeah, so and talking about challenges, one of the challenges we've had, you know, I think is the same around the world is piracy, which I think, you know, uh, we've been able to cop, but um, there's actually, you know, still more battles to be done as we get to that. Yeah, and um, finances. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do pretty much back home is, some individuals have some cash and want to put up in a movie mm -hmm. on like the government or you know industries and you know companies put a bit of big money mm -hmm. into productions but regardless of how it's been we're here today that means there's gonna be like uh, there's, a, there's a future in Nollywood mm -hmm. and this is like a medium to say wherever wants to put in money into Nollywood please bring it here it's gonna be worth the while here trust me when you say here, you mean as in in the industry or into you? <laughs> <laughs> to me first, actually. <laughs> but hey, in, in the industry, because I represent Nollywood. Um, every around the world I go, I rep Nollywood. I rep uh, what I do. It's it, what brought me to the UK. Um, it's taking me around the world. So yes, I'm proud to be a Nollywood actor. Of course. Now, you speak of being in the UK, you've just wrapped up um, production on a new film. Can you tell us a little bit about that without oh. revealing too much? Okay. Um, <laughs> there's been this um, campaign about domestic violence around the world lately. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm a part of the people campaign for dom against domestic violence, but uh, I did a movie about domestic violence. But then again, it's a twist of it. Okay. We've been used to the women being abused mm -hmm. and being beaten and being talked about in the domestic violence thingy mm -hmm. but now it's the flip side to it mm -hmm. 
which is what I represent, this is domestic violence against the men. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, yeah. um, most men go through these, but because of their men, mm -hmm. you know, the ego wouldn't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just suck it in and die in silence. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to bring the light to is talk about it. Mm -hmm. Meet someone, go for help. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the movie is called Help. You know, and that's me trying to cry for help. I couldn't do it because who, who would understand that I'm going through stuff like that? Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's not heard of, of a man being beaten by his girlfriend or by his wife or mm -hmm. stuff like that. But hey, this is me trying to say that uh, whatever you go through, whatever you do, try and talk about it. There's help everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's domestic, domestic violence, but this time against the men. Well, I think it's fantastic that um, a, a movie that, especially coming out of Nollywood, is is focusing on that subject because in Afro Caribbean society, particularly West African um, culture, we don't necessarily talk about a lot of issues that we need to actually talk about, like in terms of like um, mental health, yeah. as you said, domestic violence. Yeah. I know sometimes, unfortunately, domestic violence um, toward women is sometimes not necessarily viewed as something that is particularly foreign. It, it's become, unfortunately, a little bit of a norm. Oh. But um, statistics show that about three out of 10 men actually suffer domestic, will be victims of in and their lifetime. Of, exactly. They don't talk about so what, what sort of preparation did you have to do to get into that role? Did you, uh, is method acting? Yes, um, it's something I can relate with. Um, something that I've heard, and then again, I've had a uh, few people talk about it in the past, but because it's not talked about, there's really no, you know, giving too thought about it. Mm. So when I got a script, I um, asked a few questions. I called a few friends that have been through it and they gave me their experiences. Mm -hmm. So hey, it was enough time for me to put things together and okay, cool, I can do it this way and do it that way. And then again, with the help of the director, Nestling, Nestling, uh, Nelson Spikes, mm -hmm. great guy, great guy. Um, he was able to um, control me and make me get into some sort of character. And um, I, hope, I hope the movie comes out like, you know, it, it's in my head. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Now, as we start to round up, I know that you've mentioned that you have a lot of other things in the pipeline, you yes, know, yes. that you've all, that you're basically still, you know, a new a new face in the pipeline. What advice would you give to um other young um actors that are trying to make it into acting in Nollywood? First of all, you need to know what you're coming into. It's not about the paparazzi. It's not about the lights, camera, action. There's a lot to it. This um, you have to be disciplined. Um, growing up, I've always learned that um, a disciplined actor is so much better than a talented actor. Mm -hmm. So, however how talented you are, if you're not disciplined, you can't go nowhere. So, yes, it comes with being disciplined and um, coming to you with the right frame of mind. Not because you want people, you want to be seen on camera, you want to be around the world. You want no, no. And then again, you need to believe in yourself. Most importantly, in God. You know, because it's it's it, it's 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 enough work. Uh, don't come to Nollywood because you're fine, mm -hmm. or because you can speak well, or because um, you have the body to show for it. No, it's a lot more than that. You need to come here with your mind prepared. Um, someone asked me, besides acting, what else do you do? And I'm like, acting is enough job for me. <laughs> you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of energies and it's a lot of sacrifices. It's a lot of midnights and you know thinking of did I get this character right or wrong you know you have to be so real to yourself mm -hmm. yes so I think you should believe in yourself believe in God and come here with the right frame of mind fantastic now as we round up this will be my last question to you yes. <laughs> I mean what was the most difficult role that you've ever had to play ever <laughs> uh, ever I had to play a gay guy okay. in a movie um and how was that experience, especially coming from a West African background? Yes, it's a story. Mm -hmm. I'm an actor, so pretty much I need to interpret the character to my best, the best of my ability, mm -hmm. and with the guidance of the man, of the director, mm -hmm. right? So it was a bit awkward for me mm -hmm. because um, back home, mm -hmm. unlike here, unlike Western countries, mm -hmm. we still frown out it a lot, mm -hmm. you know. So having to prove a point that this is actually a movie, not a real life thing, mm -hmm. and you know, so I had to taking a lot, a, lot, a lot into myself and <laughs> try to be that person for the character yeah but it came up good came up good um, i'm yet to see the final product though but hopefully it's gonna be good well, i'm sure it definitely will be yeah. <laughs> definitely yeah. so we have a few months left in 2017 what can we expect from daniel lloyd oh a lot a lot i've done a couple of international projects um coming up soon i shot a couple of movies in america 
in London here, back home in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, I'm back here again July for mm -hmm. premiere of a movie um, from Freetown. Mm -hmm. It stars myself, Messi Johnson, Belinda Ifa, James Gardner, Ifa and Carlo, a lot of cast. Mm -hmm. um, I did a movie again back home. It's called 200 Million. It's a comedy. It, it has to be the best comedy <laughs> film out of Africa. Okay. It has to be. It's by ONG. Mm -hmm. It has Alibaba, Basosh, Taria Jr., Lekwashos Bosse, Messia Ibe, right. Fetia Balogun, <laughs> Frank Dongan. It's a lot of cast. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, so yes, um, a lot coming and a lot still to go. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think the year just started. Okay. You know, it just, like yeah, like it, it just started for me. And um, I'm loving every moment, every, every, every day, every month, every second of every day I spent this year. Fantastic. you know yeah fantastic as well thank you so so much for joining us at the factory and i will let you tell us how we can find out more information about you on social media okay my name is daniel lloyd that's ijo boy as a matter of fact i'm from Bialsa state so yes i try to put in that ijo boy into it yes <laughs> um my instagram handle is um at daniel lloyd 101 on facebook is daniel lloyd on twitter is daniel lloyd 101 that's about the only social media platform i'm on right now yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can always catch up with Factory 78 News on Cool 96.9 FM's Good Morning Nigeria show with Manny on notjustokay.com and factory78.com.